This is a picture of me on the first day of school. Cute, huh? Yeah. That was the day when I was told that I'm now an adult. No more playing and having fun. Instead, I must be serious, work hard, and start worrying about grades and results. You know, pretty quickly I realized that I didn't like school. And to be honest, school didn't like me either. So a few years later, my status with school changed from in a relationship to it's complicated. <laughs> it was decided that I had to see a specialist to realize why school and I did not get along. My diagnosis was a huge success as I was labeled with a few different learning disabilities such as ADHD, dyslexia, uh, along with an, uh, a few other nice compliments. You know, after I was diagnosed, my parents sent me to another specialist who treated me using games. Yeah, I enjoyed every second of it. Also because I didn't have to be at school at the same time. With the game therapy, my spelling mistakes almost vanished. I was focused in class and could read more fluently. And all this without any help of medication. So years later, I wondered what made this method so successful. And I discovered that when we play games, our brains generate new neural connections. And in fact, playing is the most natural and probably the best way to evolve our brains and to get new skills. You know, games became an integral part of my life. I play games whenever and wherever I can. And through the years, I searched for a job where I could play games all day. But I couldn't find one. So, I invented a new profession, gameologist. Yeah. It sounds good, right? Yeah. As a gameologist, I invent result-oriented games for a living and strive to make our world into a more enjoyable one with more games. With the help of games, I try to make people enjoy the journey to getting the results. It's not only more fun, it's also more effective and efficient. You know, to my disappointment, too many people that I meet every day see work as a type of a punishment or a task they must do because they don't have any choice. Well, I believe it possible and even desirable to mix business with pleasure, or even better, to make business a pleasure. So today, I would like to share with you some of the discoveries I have made about the way games can help us to develop skills that we need to succeed. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with a simple question. What is a game? Simple, huh? Yeah. Believe it or not, there are over 500 different definitions of a game. But don't be worried today, I'll focus on just one of us, okay? So, a game, an action made for fun and amusement by which we develop skills or evolve as a byproduct. Let's now focus on three of the core principles for this definition. Action, fun, and skills development. And I will try to expand this idea with an example from my everyday life, which I believe many of you can identify with this easily, okay? You know, as a professional uh, couch potato, yeah. <laughs> I always knew that sport and diet were important in losing weight, but that knowledge was not enough. I had to take action. So my favorite action was moving from the sofa to the fridge and back. <laughs> Another action I was good at was starting a new diet, but not so good at sticking with it for a long time. So if my knowledge was not enough, and my actions weren't enough, what was the missing piece? What should I have done to be more motivated in keeping the actions going? Well, Thomas Edison discovered the missing piece during his experiences. He once said, I never did a day's work in my life. It was all fun. You know, I also understood that if I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't achieve a long-term result. So I tried to make everything fun using games. That's how I learned how to study, read, succeed in business, and I even lost over 30 kilos of weight by finding a way to make sport fun. It was 
I was surprised to discover that I just love the fun of riding my bike and roller kayak in the open sea. And you know, even though I'm not the lead model of the Sport Illustrated yet, I'm much more, <laughs> yes, I'm much more active than I used to be and more importantly, I enjoy every minute of it. So I think we talk too much and now it's time to play games and have some fun. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to our roots and let the games begin, okay? Okay, yeah. Give me a okay. So the only action I will ask you to do is to raise your hands, okay? And let's try it. Raise your hands, put them back down. Raise your hands, put them down. Raise your hands, put them down. Raise your hands, put Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being so compliant. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we are missing something and we are missing the fun. Okay? So your first fun challenge will be to make a wave motion from the left side to the right side. Yet you sometimes see on football games, you know, the wave motion. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Steady. Go. Okay, good start. Good start. Let's do it one more time, but this time let's do it faster, right? okay? Ready, steady, go! Impressive, yeah, <laughs> great. And now, I want to challenge you a little more, okay? So we will now have two waves, one from each side. Okay, and they should pass over each other and not get stuck in the middle. Okay, the wave that starts from the left must reach to the right and vice versa, okay? Remember, two waves, they should not get stuck in the middle, they should pass over each other. Ready? Steady, go! Whoa! Yeah, good. It was the best wave I ever saw. Okay. So now, let's see uh, if we had all three keys in this little game, okay? Action, raising your hands. Fun, I hope it was fun. And skills development, let's see what skills we work on throughout this little game. Coordination, teamwork, focus, accuracy, reaction time, and so on. Pretty good. And now, you're ready to the next challenge, okay? In the next challenge, um, you know, uh, under each seat you will find a page, okay? Marked with, marked with a V on one side and an X on the other. Can, can I get the lights on? Yeah. Just leave the light on. Okay, good. True or false? I will present a statement and you will have to choose if this statement is correct or incorrect. Thank you. If you think it is correct, raise the V sign. If you think it is incorrect, raise the X sign. Okay, for me I can see how accurate you are, so try to stay in focus. First statement. Elephants spend more time playing games than dogs do. True or false? Whoa. Okay, for me I can see that most of you choose V and you write. Yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, in nature, the more intelligent you are, the more time you spend playing. Elephants are considered more intelligent than dogs, and so they play for more hours. By the way, which animal played the most games? That, that of course, would be us, human beings. Yeah, we play much more than we think and realize, but we will talk about it a little more later, so let's move to statement number two. The motivation to play is kept in the decision-making area of the brain. True or false? Okay. For me, I can see that your choices were about 50-50. You don't really know the answer. <laughs> okay, this statement is false. The motivation to play is kept in the brain stem, not in the cortex. The brainstem is responsible for 
our instincts and reflexes, so we actually play in order to develop survival skills. Okay? Let's move to the last uh, statement for this challenge. Western societies spend more money, money on games for adults than games for children. True or false? Everybody thinks it's true. Almost everybody. Well, I don't know the answer. Yeah. I, I don't really have the exact number, but, but just consider how much money we spend as adults on games such as Olympics. You know, the last Olympics in Sochi cost over $50 billion. It's a lot of money to spend on games for adults, isn't it? And what about the Super Bowl? FIFA World Cup, casinos and gambling, games on our phone like Candy Crush, <laughs> and other adult games, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Bingo. <laughs> okay. So let's now see what skills we work on throughout this true or false game, okay? Knowledge, logic, educated guests, understanding, etc. You see the same action, raising your hand, with a different set of rules, created the whole new game that work on a different set of skills. And yet we are still having fun, aren't we? Yeah. So, so you're now ready to the last challenge for today. In the last challenge, I will ask you to raise your hand according to my instructions and without getting confused. I will explain, okay? When I say right, please raise your right hand. When I say left, please raise your left hand. And when I say boom, please raise your both hands up, okay? Whoever makes mistakes can continue playing, but just remember that your challenge is to make as a few mistakes as you can, okay? <coughs> boom. Good. Left. Right. Left. Boom. Left, right, boom. Okay, pretty good. pretty good. Let's take it to another level. Okay, let's take it to another level. I want to challenge you a little more. So let's try to do everything the opposite. When I say left, please raise your right hand. When I say right, please raise your left hand. And when I say boom, please take your both hands down. Okay? Remember that your challenge is to make as few mistakes as you can. Ready? Okay, boom! No. <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. Okay. Left. Left is right. Okay. Right. Boom. <laughs> Left. Boom. Right. Left. Okay, I think you deserve a round of applause. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Very good. I think you can guess now what skills we work on throughout this little game, but let's see together, okay? Concentration, accuracy, response time, focus, and so on. You know, if we sum up all the skills we work on throughout this whole session, the whole three games that we play today, you will find out that we work on well over 10 different set of skills. Pretty impressive, good for you. Well. I hope it was as much fun for you as it was for me. <laughs> and just remember that fun is the core of games and that skills development is a nice byproduct we're getting for having some fun. Just as Mary Poppins said, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap, the job is again. Let me conclude our session with my message to you. Don't give up on the fun. Thank you very much. <laughs>